Welcome back to the second part of our trip to Boston. In this week's episode, we'll be exploring some of Boston's green spaces, going where everybody knows our name, and taking in America's national pastime. Welcome to The Right Life. We're Catherine and Edward, a London-based couple that loves to travel. Due to COVID, we spent the last couple of years traveling around England, and it's been a blast. However, now with the world opening up, it's time to take this show international. Away from the COVID carrying breath. He doesn't have COVID, he has rabies. His spuds boiling. Say so what, I wish they stuck that hose pipe on my head. Yeah, that pool we have in our backyard. Aye. Oh, yeah. It'd be appropriate temperature now. Yeah. Oh, it's when you walk out the shade into the direct yeah. sunlight. You've got the old church there. It's the bell. And as you come round, you got the state house. What do you think of this park? It's lovely. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot. What do you think of the frog pond? It's empty. So, it's closed. out of luck as normal. It's... I wanted to see a frog. You married a frog. Oh, no, I married a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So fresh. Are you roasting? I'm uh, roasting. I'm uh, boiling. Oh, I think I'll watch it. Actually, um, peddling it. Peddling it. Yeah, but he's the only one peddling. He's going nowhere fast. Yeah, there's a fiddle that geezer, just doing that all day. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's only a small lake, a man made lake. He's really lake. working hard. And he's got to do it slowly, otherwise, the, the whole thing would be over in two minutes. Look how hard he's pedaling. It's clearly a lot of effort. I feel like my accent's working again anyway. It hasn't worked for years. <laughs> you say your accent's working again? I think so, yeah. Why is that? Because there's no other English people here. It wouldn't be a trip to Boston without a quick day drink at Cheers. Excited? <laughs> There's even a room where the set has been recreated and Norm was there waiting to greet us. What do you think? It's pretty good actually. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh my god, I don't know how to take that. Can you fix my hair in post? No. Acorn Street is not only one of the most beautiful streets in Boston, but also a glimpse into the past to see what colonial Boston looked like. King's Chapel Burying Ground was the first cemetery in Boston and was founded in 1630. Among the notable people buried here is John Winthrop, the first Puritan governor of Massachusetts. What happened here? The lawful government today put down a load of rebels. Why? What do you think happened here? Oh, no, too soon. <laughs> After a bit of wandering, we ended up in Little Italy for lunch. For dessert, we strolled up the street to the famous Mike's Pastry to pick up some cannolis. Hi, can I please get a, um, a mint chip and an amaretto? Yeah, that's all. Uh, can I get a pistachio and a chocolate cream plate? Then it was around the corner to the famous Pocari's coffee shop for cappuccinos to wash the pastries down. Dun, dun, dun. 
fantastic. They all... One today, one tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Full of sugar and caffeine, we joined the crowds on the way to Fenway Park. Fenway Park then. It's really nice. Always wanted to come here. What about you? It's cool. What's famous about this stadium? It's old. Okay. A little. Oh, and then the Red Sox not win for like a, a long time. Okay. the game, our first trip to Boston was over. It had been a wonderful few days and we will definitely visit Boston again. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and comment below. There are many more adventures ahead.